help you review for the test a little bit, the proctored test. So I'm going to do a couple questions here and uh, hopefully uh, you can follow what I'm doing and you should uh, be able to do this on the uh, on the proctored exam. I'm going to keep it under 10 minutes so 10 or so so we don't uh, uh, I don't uh, get into any issues when I load it up. Okay, here's number one as an example. So I have to solve in this one solve uh, f is equal to g times q1 q2 divide by s squared. Okay, we're given, we need to sell, solve for Q sub 1. Okay, now this is not too bad, but we have to be a little careful here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the denominator. So how do I do that? I multiply both sides by S squared. So I have, multiply the whole thing here by s squared. It doesn't change anything, it's just multiply. So if I do that, what do I get? I get uh, f s squared is equal to g q1 q2. Okay? So now the question is, what is q1? So I divide through by g and I divide through by Q2 to get Q1. So I do the same thing on both sides. G, Q2, and here's my answer. So this cancel. So I have Q1 is equal to F S squared divide by G, capital G, Q2. Okay, make sure you know how to do this because definitely a problem very close to this one on the test okay um, a new car has a list price of twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars this is another problem that I'm doing for you twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars okay that's the list price the dealership marks up this car at five percent what is, the, uh, I'm sorry, suppose the dealer markup on this car is 5%. What is the dealer cost? Okay, the list price is this. So this is dealer cost, which is X, like it be X, plus 5%, that's the markup of X, of the dealer cost, is equal to 28 5,500. Okay? So now, what we need to do is, I hope you understand, this is the list price. So they want us to know, to find out what is the dealer cost. So we say, let the dealer cost be X. The markup is given to you as 5% of X. Right? So we have X. All of this together is equal to the list price. So you have x plus 0.05x is equal to 28,500 and 1.05x is equal to 28,500 and you solve for x by doing 28,500 divided by 1.05. Let you do that and that would give you the answer. This didn't take us very long to do that. Okay, so I'm going through the uh, review here. So let me see. I probably have enough time to do another one uh, because it's not 10 minutes yet. So if I go over 10 minutes, then I have a hard time saving it. So here's another one. 5x plus 3 over 6 is greater than or equal to 2 over 3. I'm sorry, 5 over 3. Okay, 
So again, we need to get rid of the denominators. And here, the least common denominator is 6. So we're going to multiply through by 6 to get rid of the fraction. Okay, multiply through by 6. You are allowed to do that because you are multiplying both sides of an inequality by a positive number, and that doesn't change it. So 6 times this first term, the 6 will cancel out, will give you 5x plus 3. Okay, it's greater than or equal to 6 times 5 over 3. 3 goes into 6 is 2. This is 2 times 5 is 10. So there you go, 10. Okay, now I'm going to take out a 3 from both sides. Okay, so I have 5x is greater than or equal to 7. x is greater than or equal to 7 over 5. So if you're looking at the line here, this is 0, this is 7 over 5. So we are this direction. Okay? Any question here? I know you can answer that. You can't, uh, but this, I'm going to end this set right here, and I'm going to save it, and I'll come back and do another one. Okay?